how can it be that a simple heuristic can be more accurate than a complex model? Um, the explanation is not the accuracy effort trade-off, because it would never let this happen. According to the accuracy effort trade-off, the heuristic will never be more accurate. One of the reasons is the bias variance dilemma. It's a concept from statistics, and in a simple way, it tells us the following. Uh, a strategy, a cognitive strategy or any strategy, uh, makes errors. Every system makes errors. Hmm? And by the way, every intelligent system makes errors. If something makes no errors, it's not intelligent. So, you want to make fewer errors. And the errors, they are composed by three sources. One is the so-called measurement error, unavoidable error, noise. And then there's bias, and then there's variance. Usually, psychologists only look at bias and think that if someone has a bias, that's a bad thing. Now, in the statistic theory, what is a bias? Assume there is a true function in the world. And uh, your cognitive model has another function. Maybe the true function is a uh, parabola, and your model is a line. Huh? And the difference is the bias. But there is a second source of error, which is called variance. So if your model, that may be a cognitive model or a statistical model, has a number of free parameters, your final estimate will depend on what sample you got out of many samples. If you take all the samples and all the possible solutions, then the variability around uh, the mean, which is the bias, the mean, is called variance. So you, and variance contributes also to error. So in simple terms, you want to have a cognitive system that is not totally flexible. It's not like a neural network which can learn everything and is dependent on the specific sample you got. And they'll be very surprised by the next one if it has to predict and gets a nervous breakdown. <laughs> you want a system that can learn to some degree, so uh, create some variance, but also have a bias. That means it cannot learn some things. Hmm? And, uh, and this is the real question about cognition. So how can I have enough and also the right bias hmm, to have a good chance to be successful and also have enough flexibility to learn a little bit? But it is an error to think that an unbiased mind hmm, yeah, would be the best one. The mind here meaning that can learn everything. Hmm. And in uh, our work, we, we study how a heuristic can often be successful that has no variance. I give you an example for a heuristic that bets on the extreme. So if you have a, assume you have too much money and you want to invest it in n, number n of options, and you don't want to put everything in one basket, but diversify, but how? Harry Markowitz got the Nobel Prize for the optimal solution called the mean variance model. And here, the mean means you want to uh, maximize the gain and to minimize the, the variance with the risk. Huh? <laughs> when Harry Markowitz made his own investments for the time of his retirement, he relied on this optimization model, so we might think. No, he didn't use his Nobel Prize winning method, but he relied on a very simple heuristic. It's an intuitive heuristic. Invest equally. If, if n is 2, 50-50, if it's three, a third, a third, so on like this. This is a method that is not only uh, simple, but in a number of studies came out better, making more profit than the mean variance model. In again, in the uncertain world, in the real world, as opposed to the world where the assumptions hold. Now, one over n, uh, does not need any learning sample because it has no free parameters. So it has no variance. 
so it doesn't suffer from any error introduced by too much flexibility. It has only bias. Here's an extreme heuristic. Take the best as a heuristic that has one thing to learn if it's not genetically fixed, yeah, which is the order of cues. That's it. So it has a, a certain ability and also to create variance and error with that. But for instance, an important thing about take the best it, that it ignores the dependency between the cues. So what is in linear regression, the beta weights, or in Bayes, partial, uh, so the conditional probabilities. And that also helps these simple heuristics in many situations to be more successful than the methods who take this in account. So uh, the dilemma between having too much bias, hmm, being too unflexible, and too much variance, hmm, being able to, to react to every sing, uh, simple noise out there, huh, is the key, one key understanding when heuristics are successful and when they are not. And it also holds to understand when multiple regression or Bayesian rules, base rules or any complex system is successful or not. It's much more general.